back to the old vice day then, isn't it? So I'm going to try something totally different with this one to what I've done before. You might have guessed that from the thumbnail. Oh, did we check that out? There was a restoration video of this on my other channel, Handy Dad Workshop. Oh, there it comes. It's a nice bit of packing to use again for someone. Probably the person that buys this. Oh look, a record number one with a dot. So, a record number one. That is a uh, terrible state. 26 centimetres long, that's 10 inches. There we go, look at that. Shall we, uh, shall we come down for a better view? So one with a dot at record. Uh oh. Never good when that bit happens. Gentle tap on the end normally gets the uh, threaded rod there to push the nut out that it's going through. But it needs a bit more than a gentle tap, this one. A lot of gunk, grease and muck on this. Right, that's knocked the nut out of the slot it sits in on the body, but it still don't, the thread don't want to turn out of the nut, so that is going to need a little bit of persuasion. And there we are, all persuaded. Oh, I don't know what was happening there. I always get a vice every now and again. Remember that bastard fault is done. was the amount of rust on that bugger and then the amount of shit in there right very first job wire brush so wire brush it get rid of all the shit from the inside take it over to the wire wheel get all the crap and paint off the outside and it comes back looking like this right so what we have found out from that quick clean quick clean about half an hour the reason that was loose when it come apart is the pin is still in there so we have to get that pin out that's why we had the shunt that's why it come back uh, so far off of there when I was undoing it because there was no pin to stop it so we need to take the pin out and find a new, make a new pin. That's cleaned up. We're just going to test that on this now. See how it now screws on. Much easier because everything's had a clip. That's the trouble. The grease builds up and it just becomes solid, basically. Right, time for a wipe clean and a masking tape. Right, this is alcohol wipes. Yeah, it's still very dirty, so we'll give it a dose more alcohol. So we give this a nice wipe over, get rid of all the muck off of it because, you know, 
If you're going to flitz it, you've got to do it properly, haven't you? I think we'll just have a brief interlude before we see the outcome, eh? Good. Packing material for myself. And a vice. More packing material for myself. More packing. Excellent. And a vice. It's like a nest of vices, isn't it? A nest of vice. A vice nest. Well, look at that. What do you think to them? Nice, ain't I? What we got here is a little. That's another Woden Zero. Okay, so that's the bigger version of what I've done the other day. I'm thinking maybe to copy it and have them graduate. I'm not quite sure. Let me know. This is another Woden Zero. That one's in better condition than that one. That one's got loose jaws and everything. That one's that one's alright. That's two Woden Zeros. And that's a record zero, which is the same as that one. oil on these, gonna have to give them a proper wash. Right. And so I paid nine pound postage a pair. So I paid four pound fifty postage, that's about five dollars. And I paid for the records I paid uh, thirty pounds in total. So that was with the postage of course that's twenty quid of ice. They are, that's a good price now. And for these, I paid uh, 25 and postage. So I paid uh, uh, £12.50 each and the postage. £16, £17 each for those. So, so in total, let's go for total. 55, 65. Seventy-three pounds, about eighty-five, ninety dollars. Which, I mean, they should knock out for forty quid each, give or take, about forty quid each. So it's hundred and sixty quid. That's kind of double the money in it. Kind of double the money. Twenty pound profit of vice. Right, let's get on to what a flitzed vice should look like. This is what it looked like before. And after, so I did use a little bit of super blue on here. Shall we see how that happened? I took the basic vice which I'd sprayed with chrome paint. I haven't got a cup of coffee in this, and I bet there's a lot of you watching this this morning with cups of coffee, according to the comments. Enjoy.
Well, I hope you did enjoy that with all of that coffee. Bit extreme, this one, isn't it? What, what do you think? I mean, I wouldn't fucking buy it. <laughs> right, uh, join me tomorrow for one that's suitable for the fire department. All right, I'm going to say bye for now.